Wagwan people, we are back and a new Master League, the Journeyman series starts here and it's starting with Randers in Denmark and I was thinking, what are us, it's Randers but we're starting with the one and a half star team and Randers are in Denmark, they play at the Kapiras Park Randers Stadium in Randers, 10,300 capacity in the stadium, this beast, the former coach Thomas Tuschenberg has left and the new man is in charge. So we're going to start this journeyman series in Denmark. And what we're going to do is every time we get a job offer, we're going to consider it at the end of the season and try and work our way up to one of the big teams in Europe eventually. So, taking this journey, we're going to make our new character up. And again, we're going to use the old uh, G Hedges face. Why not? And again, we'll change this up. So like I said, once the... Uh, Obviously, series gets running. After the first season, if we do get a job offer from another club that's better in a bigger league, we will consider it and go along, and we're going to try and make this guy the best manager in the world. But we're starting from the bottom, working our way up. Uh, so, again, we change it onto there. I'm going to call myself R Gaming. Go Jamaican in this piece. Once we find it, there we go. Um, so, you know, uh, to be honest, we need a decent name for this guy. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change it, actually. We're going to change it. We're going to go Brian Chambers. So if you've not watched the One Club Man series, we're going to go Brian Chambers. He's retired. He's lost the moustache. He's lost the afro. Here he is. He's going to do the managing job. So, yeah, we're going to change it from our game to Brian Chambers. And we're going to stick with that. Uh, our brother's going to wear some sportswear as well. But let's get it, brothers. So we're going to start off with transfer frequency. Uh, we're going to knock this up a little bit to fairly high. Um, we're going to go with, again... In fact, no, we'll leave it normal. Everything's pretty cool on this, actually. Um, we're going to go weekly on that. We're going to go superstar, eight minutes, put on the pounds as well, and every day so I can negotiate for the first bit. And that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with them settings. Start off, we see how we get on. So let's press on. Let's get into Randers. Here we are, brothers. It's always the same. Oh, my Jalili is the chairman every time, brother. Show me around Denmark. Going to have to learn this language and everything. We may only be here for a season. If the season goes well... And we want to stay, we can stay for a couple of seasons, try and win something at one club. But the idea is we're going to journey around Europe or around the world, working our way up until we are at the best club in the world. And kind of get our stars and stripes, brothers. We've got to earn some medals, earn some trophies, build our reputation up, do it realistically. And like I said, it's one of the jobs that get offered to us. We ain't going to request no jobs, I don't think, on this. But just meeting the players, drinking my Danish tea, see how it's going on. Oh, I don't even know his name, but okay. Have a look at the facilities in a minute. See what's going on. All right, see all this? Pick it up. None of this trash needs to go, Chairman. Honestly, Chairman, sort this building out. It's like a bloody primary school out here. All right, let's get on to the team objectives then. Let's see what this guy wants to do. All right, I've got a couple of assistants in here as well. So let's see what he's talking about. All right, B Chambers, I like to discuss this season objectives. All right, okay. Uh, our top priority this season is making the playoffs Group A. Okay, this is all new to me because, again, I've not done the Danish League before. So it looks like you end up in the playoffs. All right, so we'll have to check out what that means. But uh, well, you know what? I'll agree to disagree for now because uh, we don't want to go for European playoffs and we don't want to be focused on winning the league um, because we don't know what the team's like, to be honest. And we want a half star. We ain't going to be that decent, to be honest. We're probably the worst team on the game. All right, so agree. we'll go for advancing for the playoffs this time. We'll go with that for the time being. Group A. I can't see why not. All right, what are you all saying? You agree with me? Yes, no. What are you saying? No one's, no one's answering me. You, over there. Chairman's nodding. That's okay. Everyone's nodding now. So that's cool. All right, that settles it then. My goodness, you guys got hard of hearing. I should have answered the question two minutes ago. Come on, Pez. Sort this out. All right, so he's cool with it. What are you saying? We're the same man. All right. <laughs> you literally look like you slept outside the ground last night. My good, get a shave, bro, next time you turn up for work. Honestly, the liberties of this staff. All right, let's press on. Let's meet the press. Let's see what the Danish press are like. They might be cruel. They might be kind. Who knows? Uh, and in this series, well, we can always do international management as well. You never know. We can mix it up a little bit. Uh, but let's see what's going on. So, Randers, here we are. Puma sponsor. Congratulations on becoming manager. What's your plan for the team? And you use your preferred system straight away. I'll stick to what the team is used to. Well, the team's one and a half stars. So, whatever they're used to has been bull dookie. So, you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have my own ideas. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to implement it. Because I want to implement my style as a manager and then keep this style all the way through at all the clubs. That's what they're going to hire me for. All right, thank you to the chairperson, sports director, believe in me. My first job here is to teach my brand of football. If a player finds himself unable to adapt, then they'll be sent packing. Get your ass out the door, brother. That's what I'm saying. This brother does not mess about. All right. Next question. 
Anyone else? What style of football do you want to play this season? Okay. All right. It's the usual options. Sportsman like, put on a show. I want to see the boys play hard. You know what I mean? We're going to be a hard team to beat. That's what we're going to try and do, especially on Superstar. We're going to have to try and work our way through this division. Obviously, we know the big guns of uh, Lingby and Bromby and Metidland as well in this piece. All right, so intensity, whether you're attacking or defending, you've got to be ready to put in your heart and soul into the game. I like it. I like it, Brian. All right. It's a battle out there. All right, okay. Let's go. Let's bounce. So let's check out the home screen, see what's going on. And here we are in Randers, brothers. Denmark. Oh, hello, Danish people, if you are watching. Wagwan, brothers. Uh, so this is the setup here. Uh, quite difficult to see the tabs at the top. To be honest, the blue and the black's kind of clashing a little bit. Um, but it's like I say, it's not a massive league. Let's check out the competition. Let's see what this whole playoff thing's all about. Uh, so you've got the 3F Super League, a regular season, playoffs A and B, and then a cup. Okay. And the European playoffs. My goodness, there's all sorts of things going on here. Uh, so let's have a quick look. Uh, so all 12 teams participate. Round Robin, 22 games. Top six and top bottom six. Round Robin divided into two groups. Okay. I see. That makes sense now. So at the end of 22 games, we then get split into two. And we have this. So they want us to be, I'm guessing, in the top six. They want us to finish basically top six. So let's make this realistic as well. If we don't make the top six, we'll get sacked. And we'll obviously leave and go somewhere else. Um... Well, we have to go maybe down a level if we can. Uh, we've got Horsens in the cup as well. We didn't get a bye in the first round. It's a little bit snide. Um, and again, that's a single leg knockout. Okay. So the Danish Cup ain't messing about. Just one game and you're out. European playoffs. No idea what's going on with that. So it looks like we've got to finish in the top six to reach the Group A, ideally. Uh, we won't be in Europe. Uh, Europa League definitely won't be us. Um, we've got AAB, Sonder, AGF as well. They're our rivals, AGF, in this series. So that is our derby game, AGF. Champions League, it'll be uh, Mirchard Tidland. I think it'll only be one team that goes through to that anyway. But so far, so good, brothers. So let's uh, let's have a quick check of the team. Uh, in fact, let's go through the uh, negotiation bit and actually look at some of the stats as well. So it'll be interesting to see what we've got. All right. So all you see, 72 rated goalkeeper. That's not too bad. I can handle that. All right, position descending. Uh, so first thing I noticed right away, we've only got two centre-backs and we've got four left-backs. What the ra... Who's the sporting director here? But anyway, we've got Carl Skugin in the house, 23-year-old. Uh, not too bad. And we've got a rubbish backup keeper, so maybe it's that. Uh, look at the wages as well, because if you look at the salary budget, we've got 1530 That's going to be the hardest part. We're going to try and get players in. We've got no wage budget. I noticed the goalkeeper was on 6000 summit, so you never know. If I can find a couple of decent keepers... Maybe a little bit rated lower on less wage. I might get rid of Carl Gren. Uh, but again, left back's not bad. There's Marks, and he's actually the club captain in real life. But um, to be honest, he's on quite a lot of money, and he's 30 now. So I might get rid of him, you know. Probably upset a few uh, Randers fans that tune in for this bad boy. Again, a couple of nice 68 rated players here. Um, 192, but again, on a lot of money. So you know what? I could revamp this squad, make it into a young, exciting team. I know I could do that. I mean, Engegaard's 16 years old. I like that, even though he's 56 rated. Uh, what we might do as well, we might take one player with us through the whole series. Just keep buying into every club we go to. We'll keep him with us. Uh, Bundegaard as well, another 16-year-old, 58 rated. Um, we've got some nice wingers in here, 19-year-old. So you know what? I might get rid of a couple of the old geezers. Um, we're not too bad up front as well. So yeah, I might get rid of the keeper, the defensive midfielders, the left-backs and right-backs. And you know what? And get some new ones in this, brother's. Just to get the salary cap a bit up, because uh, like I said, we are a little bit doomed with salary. Transfer budget, we're not too bad. Um, we're going to have to probably deal with a lot of freebies and stuff like that. But yeah, looking at these brothers here, 31 year old, 71 rated. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're probably the heart and soul of uh, Randers. But we've got a left back. I mean, in real life, Mark's in place, centre half. So what we're going to do as well, we're going to only rely on the scouts. The scouts are going to get as our players, unless the player is on a free transfer. So the only thing I can do on advanced is search for free transfers. And that's what I'm going to do early doors, get a list of players together. If not, the scouts will recommend players. Just to make it, again, more realism, so we're not just searching. We know who to search for, who the best players. We can only do freebies ourselves, or it has to come from the scouts. So, again, we're going to get some scout in Denmark, still developing, uh, bolster weak spots. And again, we'll probably get another still developing, just make this worldwide. Or maybe even Europe. In fact, yeah, we'll go Europe, I think. Um, yeah, it makes it a bit more realistic as well. I don't think we'd have scouts going through Colombia and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, just in Europe and go from there, still developing. We'll take that all day, every day, brothers. So scouts are set up, uh, advanced setting. Like I said, the only thing I can do on here is just 
at the bottom. I can just search for free. That's all we're going to do on this series. Free agencies, players, you know what I mean? I can I can meet free agents. I know what's going on, but I don't have a full scouting network, so we're just going to use the scouts on this one. So that's everything up to date there. What I'm going to do now is get some transfers underway, find some players that would be good for the team. We've got plenty of time to play OB Trice. Hopefully we get some transfer news coming up in a minute, brothers. I'm going to sort out these old boys, get them transfer listed, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright people, so we have a short list. Now like I said, I can only search for free agents unless we use the scouts. Now, as I've said before, a lot of these brothers are on a lot of wages in this squad here. Um, I mean, we're talking 6,000 alone just for Carl Grigan. I mean, look at that. I mean, we could get maybe... I'm talking literally maybe 10 new players for that. So I'm, I've transfer listed him, but only for open to high offers. So we get the full amount of his 720,000. Could be a risk because he is our highest rated player. Same with Marks and the club captain and Kloppin. But they're just, they're popping too much money. They're popping too much money. Uh, so we put some bids in. I've got a nice little short list of brothers, as you can see along here. Now, I found this 15-year-old wearing Boa Hoot. I mean, look, at 15 years old. Pace, 73. Acceleration, 72. Uh, he's also got finishing, 68. Got some conditioning there. Long-range shooting. Now, at 15 years old, this kid can end up being a beast. And again, we were looking at trying to get maybe one or two players that we're going to take to every club that we go to. Uh, so we're just going to keep doing that way. Uh, I found some other brothers on here, as you can see. We're critical for centre midfielders. I even put some defensive midfielders in there. I mean, look at these two brothers. They're two rated lower than the two defensive midfielders we've got, but they're both nearly eight, nine years younger. Uh, I've also found a Fabiano, right backs, left backs, and again, a couple of goalkeepers in here. So this is the kind of best we can get on the budget we've got, on the salary we've got. So we've got 1,500 in there. We haven't sold anyone, but we do have some bids back. Uh, Bear Root said too low because basically I just gave him 270 quid a week. <laughs> you get more money being on the dole in England, to be honest. Um, so we've also got Fabiano. He came through 600, £360 a week. Uh, Medley, um, he wants an appearance bonus. That's fine. He wants an appearance bonus of £450 a week. So he wants an appearance bonus that's more than his actual wages. Fair enough. Zach Medley, uh, I do believe former Arsenal brother, on a free agent as well. £275 a week. Uh, we also got Fagan Walcott, so this is another one, 18 years old, and again, got some good pace, physical contact, and again, we don't have any centre-halves at all, so he was on it aggrieved. Uh, I do believe everyone was cool with it, apart from your man at the top there. So we're talking 360 there, plus 270, so 560, 630, um, and then 900. So we might have enough to get all these four brothers in. So first things first, we don't have any right back. So let's welcome Fabi Arno to the club. Get your send signed up, brother. Uh, and let's actually press on. Let's see if we can give this brother a press conference. Because we've got plenty of days until the first opening game. So again, we can get some more bids in. Uh, I'm tempted to again, seeing as that one. I'm going to have to wait at least a day before I can make a bid anyway. But again, we do need some more brothers in. So Fabiano's going to be in there. Once the left backs and right backs have been sold as well. Or well, the left backs, we don't have no damn right backs. We'll do that. Now, again, I'd have, I'd have kept it so that I might have kept some of these players if we had a big team cohesion. But we don't. We had a team cohesion of 55. So I thought if I bring in some new players, it ain't going to make much difference to that. And we can start with a new young squad here at Randers. And show the world what we're about. But Fabiano is our first official signing of... The journeyman season. Let's get it. So Brazilian right back in the house. Welcome to Denmark. He's all smiles now until he realises he gets to minus six in Denmark in the winter. Then he's going to be fuming. But it's okay. So, yeah. Fabiano has signed. My name is Fabiano. It's a real honor and a pleasure to have a chance to wear this shirt. That's right. We're going to make Rand as a household name. Hope to see you on match day. I'm going to do my best in my debut match. Thank you. No worries, Fabiano. No worries. So Fabiano signs for the club. This is going to be probably an extra long episode, potentially. Um, but Fabiano is there. Does he have a picture? No, he doesn't. He's a man with no face. But look at that. 65 rated goal uh, right back already. We had no right backs at all. We've got a 65 rated brother in the building. So Fabiano is signed. Um, I'm going to go back in for that bare route again. There's also obviously potentially, what, two centre-backs and a goalkeeper. Like I said, we do need to sign some other players. We do need a backup strike. So I'm going to go one more time for Bear Root. Just because, again, he's 15 years old. Now, I offered him literally nothing because he was welcome to the move. So I'm going to go 360 this time. And I'm also going to bang on appearance 
and goals and win bonuses. We can't really afford it, but hey-ho. Uh, also, looking at it, we do need another attacking midfielder. We've only got that young lad who's, what, 58 rated. So we do need an attacking midfielder. So we've got a Mexican Nar Navarez. And again, left-footed, bad boy. Look at the conditioning on the brother, though. So again, not too bad. And we've got Adin Sal. Exactly the same. Pretty much bang on exactly the same stats. Apart from tight possessions higher on him. And I think that's it. So Adin Sal really is probably the better one. This brother's from uh, Indonesia. We've got an Indonesian brother on there. So he's in there as well. I also found Jabir. A higher rating, but 18 years old. Some better skills. Not bad. Good, good, good conditioning as well. No player skills. So Jabir's one as well. Uh, Fares from Chile. Uh, looking like he could be very, very similar as well. Stat-wise, only two off. In fact, yeah, Jabir and Fares look exactly the same too. Uh, and Masuba from Holland, 20 years old. Some good skills. Cut behind, not bad as well. So out of them four, really, I mean, looking at that, 178, 178. These two are kind of 182, 18 years old. They're 17. I'm going to go for Adin Sal. Let's have a look how much he wants. Damn! You must be smoking. In fact, let's not go for Adin Sal. <laughs> we can't afford you, brother. And this is what I'm saying. Once we get rid of the goalkeeper, we probably can. So, we're already in for Shishev. And look at this, brother. 200 centimetres tall, this brother is. So, let's get another backup goalkeeper. Let's go with two 60-odd rated goalkeepers. Now, the other one I want to go for is a Shenko. 192. Get two Russian goalkeepers in there. Um, or do we go for a left-back now? Let's go with the second goalkeeper. Because if we can sell our keeper, then we're laughing, really. In fact, no. Let's go with one for now. Let's go with one for now. We've got two centre-halves and a goal. Let's get one of these left-backs in. So, we've got... Asimende, Uruguayan brother, not bad at all. Miguel Gutierrez, again, 19-year-old Spaniard in the house. So, again, we're kind of we're kind of scraping the barrel a bit. Let's have a look how much they want. So, again, £1,080. Gutierrez, are you wanting a little bit less than that? 630 So, let's put a cheeky, cheeky 270 in for Gutierrez. And let's just see if this brother bites. All right. So, that's another one in the house. So, in the meantime, though... Let's get some brothers in. So, uh, we do need centre-halves big time. So, let's welcome uh, Fagan Walcott. Welcome to the club. And again, that still gives us £720. So, again, we could still get Medley and Shishev in uh, at least until some brothers go. But let's welcome Zach Medley. Two randers. Our second sign. And again, get a few English brothers in there. We speak the language, as you know. Well, otherwise you wouldn't understand this video, but we do. <laughs> but I think the main thing is we get them centre-halves in, because that's when we were struggling for the, for the first game. Zach Medley doesn't get an introduction. He's snuck in through the back door. No one cares. Uh, fair enough, but Fagan Walcott, sorry, he's there. Well, look at that. Got a face as well. England destroyer, 18 years old. Pace and acceleration, 72, 70, not too bad. Heading 66. But like I said, we are dealing in the league, which is shocking. But uh, we were one and a half star. We were 61, 62, and 63, I do believe. On the old stats. Uh, let's go with Zach Medley as well. Let's get him in there. That's 270. So that leaves us just how much we got. 360 left. So yeah, we can get Shishev's in. And then we're going to have to wait until a brother comes back. With some kind of bids in for somebody. Uh, so. We could do one of these attacking midfielders. We really could. Centre mid, like I said, we're cool. Fabiano has signed for Randers. There we go. Hey, up, brother. Uh, so remove him from the list. Uh, Fagan Walcott's also gone. Hmm. Let's put a bid in for this other goalkeeper that we want then. Because we will need two goalkeepers. My other spare one is trash. Let's see again if he'll take 270. Uh, let's give you a clean sheet bonus. Let's see if that works. Uh, and again, what we're going to have to do as well on here, brothers, is we're going to have to change the uh, salary budget. And make sure it all goes on. Receive a salary, salary, salary. Yeah, salary, salary. Pay with transfer budget. That's what we're going to have to do. All right. So let's welcome in, uh, I do believe we accepted Zach Medley's one, didn't we? We did, as far as I remember. Yeah, we're cool. All right, let's welcome Zach Medley as well. And then hopefully we have a few more signings before the first game of the season against OB Trice in the building. And again, there might only be one game in this one. We're out on Superstar, remember? And then we'll press on with the press on. And at the end of the season, we'll see what jobs come up. We won't go halfway through the season. I think that's just bulldookie. 
uh, unless something amazing comes up. But we do have a bidding for somebody. Oh no, it's Zach Medley's in the house. So Zach Medley again didn't get a run for you, but he's got his own face, which is nice. And look at that, cost us nothing, but we'll get £433,000, and he's on 270 quid a week. An absolute bargain, plus he's left-footed. So we've got him and him in there. We're going to keep Nielsen, uh, Danish brother in the building, but look at his pace. His pace is shocking. And again, on 2000 it might be it might be room to get rid of him as well, you know, maybe keep Marks and we'll see. But we've got Graves in there. He's gonna be fourth choice. I mean, this guy literally is gonna be carrying the water bottles, that's it. But he's gonna be there fourth choice. Try and keep some Danish brothers in there. But at least we have four centre halves now as well, which is always a boosty bonus. Uh let's find our last one then. Let's get in. Uh coming negotiation, negotiations, finalised. Let's get in Shushev. Two hundred centimetres, this brother. This brother's taller than the actual goal itself. So let's get him in there as well. Uh, I'll have a quick look at other centre halves that I did have on here. Because you never know, we might even go for one more. Now, one I did like was Labitderi, another English brother. Plenty of pace about him. 190 as well. Now, again, he is 64 rated. Yes, he's 4 ratings less than the other Nielsen guy. But look at that. If I can get him in for £280 a week and sell the other brother, uh, bargain. Absolute bargain. So let's uh, let's see if we can get an offer for Nielsen as well. And again, we're completely reventing this team. I mean, 68 rated, but he's 29 years old. The pace I don't like. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know he's a Danish lad, and I know the team will be settled in. But let's be fair. We are good to go. Uh, so let's get this brother in. So Fabiano in. Uh, Walcott in there. Medley. Like I said, Markham is normally the... Uh, basically the captain but we're going to leave him out for now uh, no other sign has been made we're going to go with a 4-4-2 to start off with but we may change it a little bit uh, so we don't really need an attacking midfielder so to speak to be honest we're not too bad in midfielders really we're good with wingers as well too um, so getting that defensive showed up is the main thing we've gone down to 39 team cohesion but to be fair 55 ain't going to do much difference anyway for me to be honest but let's get this Shishev signed up as well uh, and then we'll press on with the press on. Hopefully there's some more transfers before the start of the season. But we're going to get trashed the first few games. We know this until the key team cohesion goes up. Try and sneak a few points here and there. We're going to try and finish in the top six, remember, to try and get that place. Shishev joins his new teammates. I wanted him to have a little walkthrough, really, because the guy is massive. But look at that. 64 rated. 270 grand a week. And again, I mean, he is a few stats down from Cargoden. But... We've got time to grow, time to progress. And again, we're going to put Randers in a good situation for where if we do leave at the end of the season, oh, nice, we've got uh, Butet. Uh, we're going to leave them with a young squad. So, okay, we've got Butet, and the good thing about him, he's got a release fee of 921,000. So if we do move to another club, we can buy him and bring him with us. Uh, Miguel Gutierrez wants £270 pound a week, that's fine. So these brothers are on there now, that's cool. I might get another midfielder in there. Uh, you know, I want to go for that adding style, see what he's like. What else have we got in here? Girl Braith. I think a lot of these at a 65, 66 are going to want a lot of money. Um, we could do with a second right back in, really. Especially if we do sell some of our fullbacks. So let's have a quick look what I've shortlisted here. 75, 73. Defensive awareness, 62. We've got some conditioning in there. Uh, kicking power, not bad balance, stamina. Uh, Kolev, pretty much the same. Better balance, better stamina, though. Uh, speed acceleration just swapped around. Heading slightly better. Jump slightly better. Uh, 178, 183 though. Conditioning 4, conditioning 5. Defensive awareness 58, 62. Ball winning 64, 65. Long throw, interception, lofted pass, rising shots, fighting spirit. Hmm. That's a tempting one, really. You know what, man? You know what? Just for the sheer height and he's a year younger, I'm going to go with the, the uh, Senegal brother. And again, let's just see if this brother will accept literally next to nothing. All right. I'm going to keep pressing on with the press on. Hopefully, we get some players sold. Hopefully, we get some more bids in. If not, we do have OB in about six days' time. So, we're going to have to get ready for that game. All right, brothers. So, if we don't have any more transfers, I will see you kick off for the opening game of the season. If not, I'll be back in a second. All right, brothers. So, we've heard a bid in for Max. And now, like I know, if there's any Randers fans watching this, I do apologize. I know he's your club captain, but the guy's on too much money. He's on too much money. He's the wrong side of 30. Well, he's actually 30, but you know. Um, 
Well, he's going to be a tough one to take him out of the team, but £388,000 from Horsens. They are in our division, which is kind of shocking to think where the hell they got that money from, but it's it's a no-brainer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the gaffer anyway. I'm the manager. I live and die by the sword. You know what I'm saying? So he's out. 3300 in the bank. Look at this. 360, 270, 270, 180, 270. We can literally get these five players with that one sold. We might not have to sell any more players after that, you see. So let's get our young Beru in. <coughs> and in fact, let's sign all these brothers up. Never mind introduction. Dion Koo's in as well. The Senegalese right back. And we are going to be beasting with our own squad. We've got another left back in there as well. But to be fair, I've got like five left backs now. So I do need to get rid of one of them. Accept terms in there. And again, we'll see whereabouts we're at. So we do have the extra spare goalkeepers. I also loaned out... Um, this brother here, Klisner, to Very United in Jamaica. Them brothers are going there, but he's only 56 rated. So, okay, you know what? Loan him out. See how we get on. But, again, we've got so many new signings. We are completely revamping this Randers team. But I had to do it. I had to do it, brothers. I had to do it. I'm currently eating at the same time as doing this video. I can't believe I'm doing that. But, I'm <laughs> brothers got to eat, man. All right, we might even get a little intro for somebody. Which brother got an intro? Okay. I don't know who the hell this is. Oh, it's okay. I'm chairman saying, yep, yeah, I bought you. It's cool. You don't care. Where's the gaffer? There, I hear him. What's going on? Wagwan, brother. What's all right? Welcome, man. Good to have another brother in Denmark that makes six of us now. <laughs> all right, me, you, Zach, Walcott. <laughs> Senegalese, brother. But well, here we go. Signing for Randers. You never know if any of these brothers make a massive impression on us when we move clubs in this journey. I'm more than likely to bring them on if we need a right back, if we need another midfielder or striker. Labitadere. All right, okay. He's got no first name. He's literally just Labitadere, but he's actually English. So this guy thinks he's like the Count of Monte Cristo or something. What kind of bull dookie name is this? All right. So we are beasting and feasting. We have got Beru in the house. 15 years old. The youngest player I've seen on Pez. 15 years old. I've got a funny feeling this guy's going to be a beast. I don't know why, but I just have. But he's fourth choice striker. Strikers were cool. Ego, Kamara, Sambu, Beru. Good. All right, right wing, we've got Grevy. Uh, we've also got Leaf. I'm going to try and loan him out. But we're going to have him and Kaleso. Leaf, uh, sorry, Grief and Kaleso. Left wing, we're going to go with Milisunic from Australia. Oh, okay, Australian. Look at the pace. Oh, my goodness. So we've got him from Australia. We've also got Kerinde from Nigeria. And we've also got Salu as well from Niger. Now, again, I may... No, in fact, I'll keep him. You know, I'm going to loan him out. In midfield now, again, we've got Lauenberg. 23-year-old Danish brother. We've got Hammer Let's just call him Hammer Time, okay? So we've got Hammer Time in there as well. 28 years old. Again, captain, beautiful. Uh, I've got Engard as well. 16. I will play him, even though he's 56-rated. Same with Bundergaard. He's gone up two ratings already because he's 16. I I'm loving this little kid here. I think he's going to be a beast, this one. Uh, and then we've got Romer and Pizner. Now, I'm listed Pizner. Again, I know he's a beast for the club. But again, 68-rated. £2,000 a week. Romare's on a little bit more. I'm tempted, though, because we've got one, two, three, four. I do like having a defensive midfielder around, though, but I'm tempted. Maybe if one of them goes, we will maybe get another one in. We've got Fabiaro and Dionku now as right-backs, laughing all the way to the bank. We've got Miguel Gutierrez. I'm also going to keep uh, this brother, Lordenson. He is a Danish 68 rated, but he's only on 2-1, whereas Kloppin's on 3-8, and he's 31 years old. Yes, he's 71 rated. And also, Peterson, I've loaned him out, or well, I'm going to loan him out. So we'll end up with Miguel Guerreras and Laudison. So that's our left-backs covered. In defence, Nielsen, like I said, if we get a good bid for him from Almeida, I'll take it. We've got Labitadere, Zach Medley, Walcott, and Graves in there. So again, we're good for centre-halves now. And again, the goalkeeper situation is a lot better. This brother's just awful. Let's just, in fact, why have I got him loaned? Let's just transfer list him. Like, literally no good to Mana Beast. And if we do get a high offer from Kargarin, then cool. If not, we've got three decent goalkeepers. So, like I said, getting rid of just the captain alone has given us so much room for improvement. We don't really need to buy anyone else. I might get another defensive midfielder or somebody in there next episode. Like I said, Beru has signed. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to get Adinsel or Navarez just because they're 17 years old as well and what they can do, they can beast for the club. Uh, and again, if we do lose Pizner, I'm tempted to get in one of these brothers as well. 73, 74 pace. Balance is great on Gomez. Uh, work rate's a bit better as well. Gomez probably the one. Yeah, Gomez is the one. 
get our own little Patrick Vieira in there. In fact, let's put a, let's put a cheeky bid in. Oh my lord, no wonder you on that. Let's let's see if you'll take 630. Because even then, it's still going to be a little bit cheaper than the actual defensive midfielder we've got in at the moment. Uh, right backs, we're cool. Uh, we're all right with that. So we're cool with the right backs now. No, I don't want to start transfer negotiations with a punk. I want to get him for shortlist. I'm going to keep Azimendi on there just in case stuff kicks off. Um, I'll keep him on there as well. Shiv is a, is a natural Randers player now. So Shishev. So we'll keep them brothers on there. A lot in, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's T. Richards in here. My goodness, he's got some skills. Okay, Ledemza as well. Oh, my goodness. I'm, oh, my lordy. Richards is beasting. And again, Babakan. He's a good player, you know. 65 rated, left footed. I'm tempted with Babakan. How much does he want, though? I bet he wants a grand in a bit. 500. Oh, my lord. Get him signed up. Get him snapped up. We'll even give him some free Turkish delight. Just get him signed up. My lordy. And again, we can get rid of some more players. We'll have, it. We'll have literally a right beast in squad. Look at Galbraith as well. Northern Ireland in the house. Skills to pay the bills. All right, you know what? That might be it. That might be it. Let's get Adin Sal as well, actually. No, oh, come on, man. He must be smoking. If you if you want this much money, Adin Sal, I mean, what's going on in Indonesia, man? I'm definitely not a recession over there. I'm getting money like that. All right, I put the bids in for that. Uh, we'll see if anything else comes up. We are literally days away, so let's work our way through it. We are days away from uh, the opening game of the season. And maybe the only game I put in this episode, just for the sheer fact it's bloody long. And we welcome to Randers and we're up and running. Uh, and we've still got a bit more of the transfer window still to go after this as well, I do believe. Um, even after that one. Oh yeah, we've got Copenhagen uh, and AAB. So even then we can make the next episode all about getting some extra transfers in. And again, we're playing the two, potentially the two best teams in the league as well. AGF is our debut. Debut? What the hell am I on about? Our derby game. So we're going to keep an eye on AGF. But let's see what happens here. We've got one more day in negotiations. No, nothing looks like it's popping up. So again, we're going to have to maybe sell one more player. I don't know. We'll see how we get on. I might be tempted to keep the goalkeeper now. This will be a good test. Let's see how we get on against OB. And then we'll go from there. And we'll see in the next episode whether we want to do anything. League opener. I've got some duties to do. Some media duties for the booties. What are you saying, brothers? All right, your first year manager of the club's about to kick off. Do you think you'll be including newcomer Fabiano on your team sheet for the first league game? Well, yeah, of course. He's going to be right back we've got. Uh, I might just use him. We want to get a win from the get-go. Team chemistry is going to be a big factor. He may be newcomer, but I fully expect him to play an important role in our game. So, like I said, we've gone down to 38 team cohesion, which is going to be a tough one, brothers. We were only 30, 55 before, but it's gone down even more. Uh, we have a bid in as well. Peterson oh, for loan you know I'll take your money I've got so many bloody left backs you know what you can keep him look at the budget now we've got 700,000 pounds in the transfer budget so even in January we can make another push on uh, the players that have come back the offers asking to increase the weekly salary they haven't increased anything it's still 630 so I can accept that can't I yeah I can okay Baba can as well is in there cool and Gomes in there now, I'm going to leave them three on there, just for the sheer fact that I need to get rid of some midfielders first. But we are up and running, brothers, for the first game of the season. Randers versus OB Trice in the building at the Caperas Park Randers Stadium. It's the only stadium I've written correctly in this league, so every time we're playing at home, we are beasting. But I will see you, brothers, at kickoff. All right, quick word with the brothers. As you know, I'm Jamaican, half English. Don't speak a word of Danish, not a lick, not a damn thing. I know you brothers produce bacon over here, that's about it. Um, but other than that, brothers, make sure you play well. I'll learn the language as I go along, but if anything, learn English, make it easier for me. But today, go out there, kick Obi's ass, that's all I'm saying. Make sure you play hard, work hard, concentrate on the wings, get them crosses in for the brothers up front. Bit by bit, we'll learn each other's names, alright? Have fun! <laughs> See you later, brothers! All right, we're up and running, brothers. So let's get our first lineup underway. Oh, bloody hell. Zach, you've been here a week, bro. All right, get Nielsen in. Might give us some extra, actually, 42 now on the team cohesion. Kloppen can start there. Gutierrez is buzzing, though. We'll bring him on. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Hammer Time as uh, captain. And Leborg in there. Okay, we're pretty cool like that. In fact, let's go 
Mm, let's go Sambu up front. Uh, 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 now some of these brothers are down. Let's get Salu in here for Kedinde. Uh, Endergaard. Again, I want to get this brother in. Bundergaard is out. Oh my goodness. Labbit dirty! Get you in, brothers. Now, do we start with you? It's gone down to 39. Let's let's leave you on the bench, then. Dakir's a spare goalkeeper. We're cool with that. We're cool with that. Like I said, it's going to take me a week or two to get everyone's use of his names. But that is it. That is the lineup for today. As you know, we're on Superstar 8 Minutes, brothers. Uh, what are you turning up with this Galbani kit for? What the hell is this? Oh, because you've got blue. All right, okay. We're going to have to play blue and black, then. That's cool. That's fine, then. That's okay, OB. We can live with that. Right, brothers. Kick off time and wait. Let's get it. Look at this beautiful stadium in Denmark. We've got a packed house crowd today. Come to see. Potentially, I could be the first, um, definitely the first Jamaican brother in Denmark to manage a team. Anyway, I know that. But here we go. Now, again, like I said, the chairman wants to be in the playoff group A. Now, I'm thinking that that means it's number, well, top six is group A and bottom six is group B. We'll have to see how the league goes out. I know we played 22 games regardless. And then it goes into this group thing. So for me, it's all about how well we can do. Like I said, this is a journeyman series. Um, ideally, we get offered jobs if the job looks good. We'll, us and the subscribers will obviously decide you guys and me. If we feel like, you know what, we're onto a little project here with Randers and maybe a second or a third season is warranted, we can always do that. We don't have to leave. But the whole part of this series is that we are going to journey around Europe. We're starting at a one and a half star team. Ideally, if we do go to another team, they've got to be at least two stars and try and go up a star every time. But this is your lineup. Look at Nielsen. Nielsen is pissed. He knows I've transfer listed him. <laughs> He's looking right back at me at the screen. He's not happy at all. Sambu looks ready to score goals. The rest of the brothers have got fresh trims, fresh haircuts. This is your OB lineup. Oh my lord, Christmas tree in the house. Their left backs smiling like mad. Look at number 23, Clove. What the hell? This guy looks like he smelled his own fart. Another brother in the team as well, Ockerson. Looks like Montel Williams. But this is going to be interesting. Danish League. I've never, ever done the Danish League. I played against a couple of the teams in the Champions League. But other than that, this could be a chew. It could be amazing. It's on Superstar. Let's get it. Randers underway. Brian Chambers. Phil Mitchell's here as well. Why else would he be? Oh my goodness, Phil Mitchell the referee. And again, if you brothers are kind of like, who the hell's Phil Mitchell if you've not lived in England a little bit? Just Google Phil Mitchell's Phil Mitchell in EastEnders. That's who the referee is. That's who he's been since day dot. All right, let's just try and keep possession. These first couple of games are going to be an absolute nightmare. Luckily for us, these brothers are stepping off from us. Let's whip something in. Whip something in, Kloppen. Oh, is that a whip, is it? Is that how we whip things? Sambu got ahead of it, though. All right, this is going to be hard work with a one-and-a-half star team on Superstar. <laughs> it's going to be a grind. Oh, but it looks like these guys are just as bad. Everyone's got poor touches. There's Sambu. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is going to be like watching Sunday League football. Oh, the bloody hell. Oh, my goodness. All right, it's all right. Look, look at that. Loose passes. We can do that. Oh, my God. He couldn't even get I couldn't even turn him to get a shot off. Look at <laughs> This league. Look at this. I couldn't even get the brother turned fast enough to get a shot off. Look, he still shot sideways on and then the keeper could have got that and he just left it I'm liking this league already I mean I don't know how good OB are in the grand scheme of things it could be worse than us for all I know I just know that we are probably one of the worst rated teams in the league Ooh. well Fabiano get there I will do the club numbers as well because Fabiano's got number three I don't believe in number threes need to be left backs that's a nice ball in so I will also look at the numbers once I've got my final squad together on the transfer day window I'll get everyone correct numbers uh, none of this 99 crap. All right, that's our ball. That's our ball. Phil Mitchell, what are you saying? So yeah, when we uh, get the job off as well, we're gonna make it realistic. So like I said, if we're top of the league and second place wants us, we're not gonna go away really. We wanna make it realistic transfers. So you often get stupid ones in your division, it's like the team that's literally just positioned below you or above you. Oh my God, the football is slow. Come on, clopping. This is nice. Lodenberg. Oh, turning circle of a freaking Arctic lorry. Out wide to Fabiano. The Brazilian getting used to the league. Go on, get there, Colesso. Get us up. That's beautiful. Sambu! <laughs> How we got a corner from it? How on earth? Sambu jumped up like a damn dolphin on crack. Look at this. Ball whipped in. That's a nice whip, though. 
And to be fair, good defending actually. Sambu was there though. He knows it. Alright. Let's go again with Caliso. Can we get somebody up from the back? Can we get someone? We've got some runners! Oh! Gertrude, we got a runner! And luckily blocked out by Randers. Spin move. Beautiful. Can we put in? You can't. Ah! That was him on full bar, by the way. That was his full bar power cross. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna this is gonna be a it's gonna be a chew of a series, but it's gonna be bloody fun as well. I mean, oh my lord, it will be a terrible. Well that guy's got a little Michael Jackson spin moving him. Get there, get there, get there. Here's Thomason. They're gonna go over the top. I can read that like a book. Right, come on, let's go, let's go. Where's the pace? Nicely done. Oh my goodness. Touch inside. Sambu, are you there? Sambu's out! Oh, defended well by OB. Good defending again. Here's Fagan Walcott. Looks like we're giving English brothers a chance as well. Nielsen. Probably the only Danish brother I've got left now. Lohenberg. Kloppin. Or Klopplin. I don't know how you pronounce your name. OB a, OB a penned in. It's Christmas tree formation becoming a bit of a nightmare. Make that run. Whip it in Kloppin. That's beautiful. Surely, header! Oh! Who was that? I don't even know my own teammates. <laughs> I know it wasn't Samu. Samu the whale. Who was it? Ego. Hey, yo. I'm tired of using technology. Need it right on top of me. Go on, Kaiso. Oh, waited forever. Lundberg from distance. Oh. <laughs> His team. Lundberg. Sounds like some kind of early learning book for a two year old. Lundberg. It's all right. It's okay. It's a good start from Randers. Oh, look at Ego's fitness already. His fitness is, is half a bar. Literally, he's done one header. Oh, turn, that, turn. That's it. Go back, go back. That's there we go. Honestly, these guys' touches are shocking. Come on, Fabiano. Show him how the Brazilians do. Oh, oh, keep out of it, keep out of it. Nicely done. Fabiano's on side. Ah, oh, he's turned the wrong way again. Hmm, it's a bit of a difference from playing with Liverpool and Steven Gerrard to these boys, but this is what we do in this challenge. Get there, get there, get there. And to be honest, I know it sounds bad. Oh, it doesn't sound bad. Why am I saying it sounds bad? It doesn't sound bad at all. I know it sounds strange, but I like playing Master Leagues off camera like with default players and stuff like that with the with the rubbish players that you start off with. You seem to have to play better football because you have to chew in. Sambu though! Oh, Sambu! Sambu can nearly score a goal. But yeah, you end up playing sort of, it's a bit more of a grind, you have to pass the ball more, you kind of, you got to do your thing. But at the moment, 0-0. Oh, be a lucky, because look at that! Brian Chambers is men. And by the way, my name's not Brian, before you ask my name, my name's not Brian. Uh, Brian Chambers was Brian Dean, uh, a big Brian Dean fan for Sheffield United, so that's why his parents named him Brian. His surname's Chambers. Uh, classical Jamaican name, biblical, not really, but you know. I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh my goodness. I do have biblical family. Like you, I mean, you Jamaican brothers that are watching, you know. There's always some Jamaican brothers in your family that have Bible names. I have a cousin called Exodus. That's right, Exodus. Six foot bloody six. Rastafarian. Never seen a guy so big in my bloody life. No one dares say a word to him. <laughs> That's what I'm dealing with. All right, down inside. Beautiful. Ah, touch. Honestly, OB have come here just to defend. Can we play a ball in? I want to test these brothers' defensive skills. Oh, referee! That's my new sign-in. Well, half the team's new sign-ins, but that's beyond the point. Don't get the one-two. <gasps> you sons of bitches. Get there, get there, get there. Apologies for the swearing. Carl Green makes a save. Right, come on. Here's Coplin. Oh, my goodness. Like, literally, it feels like they're running through mud. That's nice. Come on, Coplin. That's beautiful football. Get out the bloody way. There you go. Wits in. Somebody, somebody. Ah, ah. Nobody. Headed back down. Here's hammer time. Fabiano. Caleso. Fabiano. Oh my goodness, Fabiano expecting that. Back in again. This is nice. Sambu. Surely. Oh, saved again. You dirty hounds. Lumbao. Hammer time. Caleso. The pace has picked up. Um, maybe it's a second gear. Oh my goodness, Fabiano. I'm going to say the pace is tremendous in this game, but that would be a lie. Right, Fabiano, at your feet. Whip it in. That's beautiful. Sambu! <laughs> yeah, surely. Who's on the edge? Hammer time. Where were you? And OB again just clearing their lines. Oh, my goodness. We may have to 
find an out-and-out -out striker. I'll bring that 15-year-old on and see what's going on. What What is your finishing? 73? 67. Okay, we're kind of dealing with Bull Dookie here. Uh, I have no idea why Ego is literally dying on his feet. So let's bring Kamara on. Um, we're kind of cool with everything else. Let's give Miguel on as well. Let's give him his debut. And the rest will leave for now. All right, come on. We should be beating OT, OB Trice. I can't believe how bad these guys are on Superstar as well. Kamara's got number 99. Did I not just say to you, I don't want none of that 99 ball dookie. 1 to 11, that's it. And then subs, 12 to 16, something like that. No sideburns, no nothing. Old school manager. Come on, curl it round. Christensen's there. Kamara, if you'd have scored that, I'd let you keep number 99 all season. No word of a lie. Right, ball out to Kutsev. Come on, let's get a goal for Randa's opening episode. Like I said, it is going to be a bit of bull duke until we can get some uh, team cohesion going. The main thing is that we don't lose our opening game. Nicely done. I mean, if the brothers at the back can get a clean sheet, that is bonus already. Oh, my Lord. That's a ball round. That's a through ball, apparently. Can we get there? Oh, beautiful header. Apologies if I screamed in your ear that then, brothers. It's a nice little touchdown, though. Fabiano's in there. Ah, can we... Oh, it's so shocking sometimes. Watch your left wing. Watch your left wing. Ah, he's going around the outside. Keeper, Carlson. Right, come on. What have we got? 13 minutes. Come on. We've dominated this game. Let's go more attacking. Let's see if we can get something from this. Oh, my goodness. Where is everybody? Right, inside now. There you go. I know OB are playing that Christmas tree formation, so it's quite hard to get through the middle of them. Oh, damn. These brothers are literally happy with the point straight away. Get there, get there, get there. At least you can't even catch anyone up. It's like treading water. These guys get through at any point. We are doomed. He's offside there. He's offside there. Oh, my lordy. Somebody. Somebody stop him. Nicely done. Right. Get it out of your feet. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is a grind. My bloody controller's, controller's sneaking. That's nice. Touch inside. Beautiful. Get there. Go on, brother. Send him through. What the hell is all this holding back crap? Edge of the area. That's beautiful. Dug down one. Oh! Reflected. <laughs> Referee, my damn ankles. Touch inside. Oh, somebody got a damn shot off. And it ends up nil-nil. Oh, B. Old Dirty Bees. That's all I'm going to say. That's what it stands for. Old oh, That's it. Phil Mitchell's happy. I don't know why. So, to be honest, actually, guys, considering we've got 40 team cohesion... We dominated that game. I'm happy with the nil. Well, I'm not happy with the nil nil, but you know what I'm saying. Happy with that we didn't get beaten. It's not ideal for the opening game. Christensen, man of the match. My lordy. Has anyone got a three? There should be some threes dished out there. I see a 4.5, but there should be a three average rating on that because that was just shocking. All right, check your coupons. Looks like it was. Uh, it's going to be one boring match of the day in uh, Denmark. My goodness. AGF won 3 0 at Bromby, though. And AAB won 1 0. Norgeland, okay. Mid Tidland won. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to finish top six. We, on that performance, I'm happy with that. Unless OB are like a really trash team in our league. I'm kind of happy with the fact that we can do that. All right. As much as I'd love to play another game to redeem and get a goal in this bad boy. That is the opening episode. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Just try and enjoy my Danish tea. And this brother. What do you want, Christensen? Alright, open your no mean feet, the direction wasn't bad either, okay. Alright, alright, Jesper gone cry, get out of my face, man. I swear down. Brothers, honestly, man. Can't enjoy a cup of tea at work without someone bothering me. Alright, so we've got some scouts. Oh, we've got some scouts back, okay. What you got in here? Let's have a quick look at what the scouts are saying. Bear in mind, this is going to cost us some money as well. Nigeria from Citadella. Not bad, box to box, bad boy. Fighting spirit, I like it. Uh, Leandro Camillo. 34 years old now. Nah, I'm good with 34 years, mate. Thank you. Bama from Switzerland from Sion. Uh, pay 69, acceleration 66. You can keep him. I don't want him. Uh, what have we got in here? This is from the Danish league. Okay, that's not bad. Oh my goodness. Look at the market value. You must be smoking. We can't afford that. I told you to consider. Consider the actual. Uh, who's that? Look at that kit there. Oh, they haven't. I said consider our budget, but these brothers are considering Jack. And then Kay McAllister. Is that a brother from Brighton? Oh, Scotland. Get a Scottish brother over here. Left-footed, though. Right wing. And Harding. 
All right, so the scouts are trash. Okay, so I will obviously look at what else we can do. Uh, we're also, next episode, we're going to have Copenhagen and also AAB. And then I'll play a few games off camera and get ourselves up and running. Maybe play the cup, actually. In fact, no, we're going to play Copenhagen, AAB, and then we'll play Horsens and AGF because that is the start of the cup. And that is our derby game. And then I'll play a few games off camera and see how we get on. The good news is this league runs in line with all the rest in Europe. So the job offers will be more European ones. So a disappointing nil nil at first, but an introduction to the team, introduction to the players that we've got. Uh, everything's all cushy and mushy on here. Again, as we were saying, we are playing with fairly high chance of squeak, normal negotiations, starting budget normal, weekly, superstar, eight minutes, every day. All right, brothers, smash the rass on that like button. If this gets more than 20 likes, uh, I'll put another video up on Sunday. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Wagwan, welcome to the channel. Wagwan to all the Danish people out there. If you suddenly join this channel, you're seeing this. Wagwan, brothers. Wagwan to the Randers Massive as well. Hit the notification bell. You'll not miss the second episode that way. Peace and love, brothers. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.